it's me, Lane, and I'm back in another video. But, um, I'm sorry that I didn't make a video on Tuesday. I just, I'm a very busy person, okay? But anyway, today I'm going to be talking about how my parents got a divorce. I have a stepmom. I can call her stepmom, I think. Um, I have a stepbrother and a dad. And I don't have a mom anymore. Yeah. But, um, anyway, let's get into that. Uh, so, I, my parents got a divorce, as you heard at the start of the video. But, it's just something, you know, it's really hard. They got a divorce when I was only like four years old. I was sitting, I was sitting down at the chair and they started fighting. I mean, they always fight. It wasn't that, it wasn't like that weird, you know. My dad says that my mom's a very hard person to get along with. I kind of agree. You know, kind of. And, um, okay, so, <laughs> there's someone, so, um, what was I talking about again? Oh, right. so, um, they started fighting, not actual fighting, just arguing with each other, yelling and screaming and a bunch of stuff like that, and I was just sitting on the bed, telling them to stop, because it wasn't nice to fight. The next thing I knew it, I woke up, my dad was in the house. My mom said that she had a divorce with my dad and, yeah. So, so I never really saw my dad. I did go to school though. Actually, now that I think of it, I think I was three. Yeah, I think I was three years old. But anyway, um, um, I did go to school. Then I went to pre-K church at school, counter school. Well, it wasn't really church. It was just a building that looked like church, but was a pre-K school. Very weird. We didn't even learn there. All we did was cuddle, cuddle with our teachers. So weird. But anyway. Um. <laughs> anyway. Um. Anyway, okay. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, I don't know why I like eating my hair, <laughs> but, so I was living at my mom for the start, and, yeah, it was, okay, I guess, I, and since my dad, uh, started living with his, with his nana, no, not with his nana, with his mom and dad, just my nana and papa. Um, one's named the Diana, and the other one's named Bill. My mom is named Diana. Diana. No. My mom's name is Diana. Yeah, Diana. And uh, my dad's name is Robert. I can't pronounce my R's right, as you could tell from the first video. But anyway, uh, my dad, he stayed with, um, his, with his mom and dad, and they lived in the same neighborhood, so I could see him very often. I remember the good times we had, 
like when I would drive my my um little vehicle um controlled car to my nana and papa's house with my mom and my dad walking behind me. You know, stuff like that is very fun. I miss it. I really do. But I was wiggling my chair. But anyway, um, my dad lived with his mom and dad, and I would normally go see him since they lived in the same neighborhood. My mom lived in the same neighborhood as, um, my dad, yeah, and, um, and, well, since, and, well, since she didn't, wants to stay stay over there close to his parents house she moved my grandma's and stayed there and she's still staying there right now um and my dad stayed with his nana and papa well with his mom and dad and i don't know what happened but now i lived with my dad he picked me up from school and now i was living with him I think the judges said, um, you can live, said that my dad better take good care of me. Since my mom, well, she had money at the time, but now she doesn't have enough money to feed me. But she wasn't a good, um, you know, she didn't take care of me that good, and... My dad was the better, my dad, my dad was better, so I started living with him, and, well, I'm living with him, um, but my mom and my dad still remained friends, they got along with each other, and, well, until one day, uh, my mom got a boyfriend when I went to the hospital because I broke my back. I'll talk more about that in another video and the rest of this story. But um, one day my mom went to jail because she didn't let the cops in her house. And my dad picked me up, took my phone and my teddy and went with them. And now I'm living with him full time. I normally would only see my mom on the weekends, so yeah. And well, see, um, and that all was only like a couple of months ago. I've never seen my mom since then. My mom tried to get contact with me, but. My dad went letter. She said that my grandma has cancer, which is her mom. My mom's mom <laughs> has cancer. And she's starting to lose her hair. I felt really sorry, but I didn't want to go see her because I'm afraid for what my mom would say. So... Yeah, my dad said that my grandma had cancer for a long time, but now she's just starting to lose hair, and honestly, I'm very sad. She might die soon, and I don't want her to die. I'm starting to actually have tears in my eyes. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and le and hit the bell. And I was going to say leave the bell. And hit the bell. And, well, see you tomorrow. Bye.